they were supposed to be done. Y'all remember the departure of Carlos Correa was going to be the final nail in the coffin for the Houston Astros, along with the Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels getting better. The Astros this year were supposed to win maybe 90 to 92 games this year and compete for a wild card spot, if not win the AL West, and get bounced out in the first round of the playoffs. Man, don't a lot of those people now that made those predictions look like kind of idiots? I mean, it, it's truly hilarious. It's, it's truly hilarious to me to see all these puns, these baseball analysts make those predictions this all season, this early in the season, and here we are now. MLB, what you got left for us? He threw us the Yankees seven games. We could have very well won all seven of those games. The historically record-setting pace that the Yankees were on, they're going to break the Mariners' record of wins in the season. They're going to destroy all kinds of offensive records on the way to a World Series. Watch out, Houston Astros. What happened to them? Where'd they go? Let me help you out there. The Yankees were never on the Astros' level. That's just how it is. If you watch the Yankees versus the Astros, the Yankees have no offensive answers at the plate for what the Astros pitchers throw at them. The Yankees have no adjustments to be made because they don't know how to make the adjustments versus the Astros pitching. You got a pitching rotation on the Houston Astros who were relying on rotation and movement and control versus a team like the New York Yankees who were bringing in launch angles and exit velocity versus the Astros. It's very clear that the Yankees, they don't have an answer for the Astros. And we saw that in that little two game stretch right there versus the Astros. And we've seen that all year in the seven games that they've played. The Yankees do not have answers for the Astros. And the answers to the Yankees, the Astros have all of them. But what about those 14 game win streak Mariners? Supposed to challenge the Astros now for the AL West. After the All-Star break, the Mariners and the Astros, they're going to go at it. And the Astros better watch out because the Mariners, they're heating up. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is truly hilarious. The Astros just got done curb stomping the Mariners. And as per usual, the Astros right now are the best team in baseball. It's the Astros, the Dodgers, and everybody else. No disrespect to the Yankees, but the Astros are better than them. Justin Berlander throwing like a Cy Young. Robert Valdez throwing like a number two on the team who could very well be a number one next year. Then you have a guy like Lance McCullers who's coming off the IL here in a couple weeks, coming back to the starting rotation. Along with guys like Luis Garcia and Jose Arquiti who have been phenomenal this year, and Christian Javier. There's a plethora of riches in that pitching rotation. And then you get started with Jeremy Pena. What a find by the Houston Astros to replace Carlos Correa. On top of that, Jordan Alvarez, who's been an AL MVP candidate so far this year. And then you have Jose Altuve, who continues to be the best second baseman in the league. Along with guys like Alex Bregman heating up, Jake Myers in center field finally contributing offensively. Martin Maldonado's coming around, and we're even getting some flashes of Yuli Gurriel from last year. The Astros just continue to win. They continue to do everything that the, and I quote, analysts say they cannot do. Their pitching rotation is the best and the deepest in baseball right now. They have the best bullpen in the league right now, and they clearly have some of the best coaching in baseball, if not the best. Like I always say, great process equals great results. And the Astros, you see the great process, it's equal into great results. You guys, I'd love to know what y'all think in the comment section down below about the Astros right now. Do y'all think they're the best team in the AL? Do y'all think they're the best team in Major League Baseball? I'd love to know what y'all think in the comment section down below. And by the way, Yankees, they're only a game and a half back of y'all. Y'all better not lose a couple more games because the Astros, they're heating up and they're coming for you. Anyways, I want to thank y'all so much for being patient with me this past week. I know I haven't uploaded since Monday, but keep in mind, I, I had the flu earlier this week, plus my dad being in the hospital, and then I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out on Friday. So it's been a very eventful week for me. A very emotional week for me, but uh, we're getting going back now. Uh, I sound a little weird right now, and if I do, I apologize. My my gums are a little swollen right now. My face is still a little swollen. But like I said, thank y'all so much for being patient with me. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the weekend of baseball that we got. Hope y'all enjoyed the Astros whooping up on the Yankees. I know I did. And on the Mariners. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new because I have plenty more baseball content videos like this on my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Adios, me amigos. Hey, uh, thank you, thank you for rocking out tonight. You can be anywhere in the world. You right here. I got my special guest, Tyler Lee, man. Yeah, you bringing this all from the Keystone State.